Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I am your host, longtime listener. Be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. We went over 300 uh, subscribers the other day. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but that's cool. Uh, by the time you see this, we might be at like 400 viewers or subscribers. But anyway, uh, mildly bad luck day today. Living off the land. Fish focus. Salmon. Salmon return to their spawning ground in the fall to lay eggs. That means the rivers are chock full of them. You can only find them in fall, so get out there and cast your pole. You gotta put your pole in the water if you want to catch some fish. Bottom line. All right, what are we doing today? Uh, let's start with the trivia question. Uh, what is the smallest country in the world? That's the question from last time. The answer is Vatican City. Uh, which is a city and a country. So that's that one. Uh, the trivia question for this episode is, how many hearts does an octopus have? Which I just think is an interesting question because it's like, well, don't most creatures just have one heart? And I would not be asking this question if the answer was one. So there's a hint. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway uh how many hearts does an octopus have now today is thursday the 11th it's jody's birthday so we're gonna have to find her and we're gonna give her an egg um the only person whose birthday we missed this year is elliot because it was raining and i just couldn't find him anyway uh we're, we'll probably try and find maru while we're in town since we'll be looking for uh jody anyway and then we're gonna go fishing we're at 12000 bucks. We really need to start racking up cash. We do have some grapes down here. It looks like we have some eggplant and some corn. We need another batch of cranberries to come in, and then these pumpkins will really kick off the cash collection process this season. But holy smokes, we, we need cash, y'all, and we need it fast. All right, in the mail, I see you've entered the Skull Cavern. Well done. I've got a better challenge for you, kid. Make it at least 25 levels deep. I've got a mountain of gold to send you if you can do it. Your friend, Mr. Chi. I was just saying we need cash. Right? Well, this is like a blessing. A blessing from the Lord. Uh, so, that's cool. We'll have to try and go and do that. Right? Alright, so... Oh, man, we got a shrimp and then some more trash there. Okay. Uh, hang tight. Dang it. Gotta... There's going to be a disturbance in the force here in a few minutes, uh, but it's not a big deal. Uh, bu 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 Where were we? Let's. Oh my gosh. Let's just try and get moving here. Boom, boom, boom. I really don't know what that one crop right above me is. I'm thinking it's one of the new ones in 1.5. Hey, Cooper. Can I get by, buddy? Oh, my gosh. And now he moves. Although he moved kind of toward me. Ooh, we got yams. That's cool. Did I buy anything else to put there? Ooh, I don't think I did. Thankfully, it's Thursday, so I could go to Pierre's if I wanted to and buy some more stuff. But, uh, let's see, it's the 11th. I almost don't want to, just so I can, you know, keep my cash, cash situation where it is. I really don't need more yams, so I could probably just kind of let that go for now. Um, get over here, Hope Susie. And then, you know, we'll... we'll be a little bit more consistent with our crop production next year. I really hate having that 
scarecrow right there. But anyway, all right, so crops are watered. Let's go ahead and do that right there. Wait, let's grab sea biscuit. What are we doing? Get Cooper some water. All right, let's go. Now, uh, while we're kind of on our way over to the barn and stuff, let's drop off some stuff. Starting with fall crops. Uh, we're going to take those eggplants and leave those behind. No corn to save. Grapes I actually keep in the summer box. Although, I don't really need to save the grapes. Do I? I don't think I do. So we're going to sell them. Now, yams I can keep some. I really wish I had more regular quality ones. So I know I need to sell one. Or I need to, uh, I need to keep one for the community center. So it's going to be the regular quality one. And then we'll keep two more. That's what we'll do. So. All right. Hang on a second. All right. Sorry about that. It's funny. Like, I'll say, all right, sorry about that. But I cut that all out so you don't really see anything. So I don't know why I do that. I should not apologize. I haven't done anything wrong. But anyway. All right. Let's, uh, let's get situated here. You guys can go. Actually, why don't you just come with me? No. You go in there. We'll take you. And we'll do that 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 now all that stuff is going to get sold right right let's go i still really want to see my ducks in the water I, maybe i need to put the coop closer to like a, a you know a major shoreline like as opposed to over here by the um greenhouse where it's just kind of this small strip of water but whatever. It's, you know, we'll see it at some point. I'm not going to go out of my way. Okay, we got another duck feather. Silver quality. Six. Is that enough for my animals? For my, I've got four chickens, two ducks, and a lizard. So, anyway, it's not a big deal because they can get to the grass out here. All right, so our goat is happy again, but still only regular quality. Um, I mean, he's at one heart, but one large goat's milk is all I need from him. We just haven't gotten it yet. I'm going to do... We're going to keep doing regular cheese. Regular cheese that really need to make sure that we're working on our uh check the okay 103 that's good okay now um yeah we've, we've got a full got a full backpack here let's let's get going man we're not being very efficient today 1020 what's this mission oh mr cheese challenge so we'll need to do that at some point. But today, what I want to try and do is catch those anchovies. So let's get in here. Um, wait a second. Hello, Mr. Jade. Happy to see you. You go in there. Now, I don't need to save any of that stuff, do I? We'll save the cheese. Where am I keeping cheese? Right there. And we're going to save a large gold milk and large eggs. Um, I should probably save duck eggs. I'm not keeping those in here, am I? I apparently was, but I don't... I think I want them in here. I don't want this winter root in here. I don't know why I put it in there. It needs to go in my winter chest. All right, so duck egg can go in there. That's pretty much all I need to have in there. Let's get a mayonnaise in there. Might as well. I do need to make another goat cheese at some point and stuff it in there. Let's do gold quality duck egg. All right, so winter root go in there. Now, we're selling all of that stuff, right? 
Yeah. Let's do it. Right? Wait, I need an egg for uh, Jody. And I need a sweet pea for my sweet pea. Okay. Now, if I really do well today with my uh, fishing expedition, I might be able to go, um, what's up, Pamela Lama Ding Dong? I might be able to go to the Skull Cavern tomorrow and attempt to get to level 25, but it's go it will be hard because I still don't have the prismatic shard to get... Oh my gosh. Okay, invasive sp crab species living in a local mine threatening the wildlife. These creatures are known for disguising themselves as stones. Please slay three of them, says Demetrius. Now, the last time I got this quest... Yeah, see, lava crabs. It doesn't say that in that description. So... That's why I was thrown off. All I saw is stone, and I thought it was the ones on the upper levels. So anyway, um, don't run around holding stuff that you can give to somebody. Rule number one. All right, in other parts of the world, it's spring right now. Imagine that. It is kind of funny to think about. Like I had a, uh, we had an exchange student from Brazil who, uh, you know, they're on the other side of the equator. So seasons are flip flopped. Um, he had never seen snow before. Oh my gosh. Was it awesome? Cause I grew up in Western Pennsylvania on top of a freaking mountain. We got lots of snow. Where am I going? I need to find Jody and I'm not sure. Hey Haley. I feel the urge to go shopping. Shopping. <sighs> All right, so I'm hoping Jody is home because I really don't know where else to look for her. Ooh. Sam's in here having a jam session with Sebastian. They need somebody on the on the drums though. I played the drums in uh, middle school band. Yeah. So, sign me up. Oh, hey, Evan. Sebastian and I were just having a little jam session. Cool. We're trying to start a band. We still don't know what kind of music to make. There's so many possibilities. How can you be starting a band and not even know what genre you want to do? So, with Sebastian on the keys and him on the electric, it's probably like pop music or high energy dance music. Like I'm talking like, I'm more of a honky tonk guy, but we're going to go with high energy dance music. Hey, you know what? That's exactly the kind of style I've been thinking about uh, for the band. Cool. What do you say, Sebastian? Should we do this? Sebastian's like, okay. Don't sound too excited, Sebastian. Thanks for the help, Evan. With my guitar skills and Sebastian's wizardry on the synthesizer, we're going to be a screaming success. I'm convinced of it. Now I just need to find someone to play the drums. Hmm. What's Vincent up to? He could be a child prodigy. All right, I don't... Okay, Jody's sitting on the couch. Let me in! You're not as boring as most grown-ups. Oh, the kids never help with chores, huh? A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Cool. Oh, you know who we should go see? Caroline. I keep forgetting to woo her, and it's going to bother me come the last week of this season if we don't have her to two hearts already. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but let's see if we can find her real quick. 
there she is right back there it's like she knew I was coming and came out to greet me hmm what am I gonna make for dinner tonight maybe I'll just get takeout of the saloon I am tempted to give her a pink cake because I bet she loves it we're not gonna go that far though I don't care that much about you Caroline it's starting to get cold outside that means people wait let's uh no no we're not gonna do it I at some point I need to buy the other fruit trees like the peach orange apricot and cherry but that's the 10 you know 15,400 bucks that I certainly do not need to be spending right now oh there's Elliot where were you on your birthday my man you barricaded yourself indoors where nobody could find you all right what are we going to do we're going to catch uh anchovies now ooh, another this is cutscene day apparently for sam hello evan nice day isn't it i don't know why i gave you that voice i'm just keeping an eye on my little bro it's good for him to get some fresh air on a day like this yep our dad used to say our dad used to take us to the beach on sunny days like this in the fall well, I guess, I mean, maybe early fall. You can have some nice days for the beach. Sam? Is Dad ever going to come home? Of course, Vince. Dad's going to come back as soon as he possibly can. But I heard some grown-ups saying that, that all of our troops are getting shot to pieces. Don't believe everything you hear. Don't you remember how strong Dad is? He never let a pathetic Gotoro grunt get him like that. Don't you worry. And always remember that Mom and I are here to play with you if you ever feel lonely. Okay. All right, go build your sandcastle, bud. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea if my old man will come back. We've all read the reports. Our soldiers are falling by the thousands. But what am I going to say to Vincent? It's best to be honest with kids, or you did the right thing. Kids should have hope. You did the right thing. Kids should have hope. There you go. Well, ooh, band's starting to come together. Abigail is going to play the drums. Sebastian seemed to really want her in the band, so apparently Sebastian likes Abigail. Okay. Oh. I'll get on the horse. Boom. We haven't been down here for a while. Oh my gosh. So let's go ahead and do the foraging. I'm not like dying to get these five anchovies. You can catch them anytime, any weather during, I think, spring, summer, and fall. They might even be any season, to be honest. So it's not like they're a real rare catch the only reason i want them is for the help wanted ad which again not a huge deal but it's something that we can do since we need to be doing uh money making activities anyway one of which is fishing so we'll go down here oh my gosh we'll sell willie all the stuff that we just foraged because we don't need it for anything that i know of we, we do need the cash though so Boom, 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 boom. It was like a thousand bucks, wasn't it? I don't know. Whatever. Not a big deal. Let's go fishing. Get Sea Biscuit out of the way in case Willie comes out of there at some point. She probably will. And he'll probably want to come over and stand like right where I'm standing and go fishing. Or past me, but need to walk through me to get there. Whatever. Not a big deal. Come on. Let's get two anchovies with this wild bait we got. Make it happen. Seaweed. Come on, man. Here we go. Anchovy. All right. This is an easy catch, which could be the anchovy. Let's get this uh, treasure chest while we're at it. Anchovies are pretty easy, so that might be it. Oh, no. Whoa. Sea cucumbers. Those were really easy for sea cucumbers. 
And of course we got two of them, which is cool. There's another relatively easy one. Probably did not need to move the meter at all. Sardine. Dang it. All right, we're down to two pieces of bait. Wild bait, that is. Come on, anchovy. Do it one time, baby. I had to try to not catch the fish there so that I could get the treasure chest first. Another sardine. Okay, we can donate that. I always have a hard time telling the difference between the sardine and the anchovy. Alright, this is my last wild bait here, so hopefully it is the anchovy. Come on, baby. There it is. Only got one, but we are 20% there. And if Willy stays around here somewhere, we can at least find him pretty easily. So that's cool. That might be another one right there. See, catching the treasure chests is so much easier when you have the trap bobber. Because you don't, you know, that fish isn't getting away from you when you're going off to try and get the treasure chest. But, you know, fishing is one of those things that a lot of people tend to struggle with, especially early on in the game, and they get so discouraged that they just abandon it. Um, but really, it just takes a little bit of practice, and once you level up, it becomes a lot easier. I'm getting a lot of freaking sardines, but I don't want sardines. I want anchovies. I feel like that's always the case. Like, sardines just seem to be way more common than anchovies, for whatever reason. So, come on, baby. Be the anchovy. Nope. More sardines. Why couldn't Willy wanted sardines? Because then we would pretty much be done already. Come on, Willy. Sardine. This is getting ridiculous. I probably should have run into the Willie's house there to try and sell some fish before he closes, but it's okay. Another sardine. Imagine that. All right, are you going? Where are you going? Yep. See, he takes that, like, turn right there, goes down, and then over. So you got to get out of his way or else he comes over and is like pushing on you like, hey man, what's the deal? That might be a sar uh, an anchovy. Nope. Another sardine. This is getting to be absurd. And it's also getting to be a long day real-time wise so that's not good another freaking this is like this game is broken right now that's all i'm getting i got nine sardines and other than that i've hooked either seaweed one time i hooked a sea cucumber and one time an anchovy like what what's going on i bet this is another sardine At least I'm getting a lot of treasure. That's cool. That pirate perk. Sardine. This is ridiculous, y'all. The game is broken. <laughs> like, what do I need to do to stop this trend? What do you want to think this fish is? Is it a sardine? 
Because it's sure looking like one. It's another treasure chest. We might set some kind of record here. Ooh, sea cucumber. At least it's different. We're going to cast off to the right. Maybe that'll fix it. There's a school of anchovies over here. Okay, that one's kind of jumping up there. This is not an anchovy, though, I don't think. Albacore. Cripes. Well, that's better than sardines, so we'll keep casting over there. Because why not? And are we back to sardines? No, that one's moving around a little bit. That could be an anchovy or a sea cucumber. Or a sardine. Just leave me alone for five minutes. Probably going to have to split up the uh, recording on this episode to two days. Whoa, that thing really jumped up there. Is this another albacore, or what the heck is this? That's jumping around way too much to be an albacore. Super cucumber. Oh, crap. All right, we're going to cast one more time after this and then head home and we only caught one anchovy <sighs> that might be another super cucumber there I don't know if I can get him if he jumps around like he just did that's going to be I think we got him come on baby okay well, I got a couple things I can take to the museum. Wait, did I even say hi to Willie? Let's say hi to Willie. There's rumors of some very rare fish in these parts, but only an experienced angler could stand a chance against them. Speaking of which, I probably should have tried to catch the other legendary fish, like the seasonal ones. Um, I probably could have caught, I think it's the crimson fish that is a uh, summer fish. And it's the... Man, Sam will still talk to me, huh? Completely healthy and vigorous, just as I expected. Um, and I, I can't remember what the fall one is off the top of my head. The angler, maybe? I passed like seven blackberry bushes today and for whatever reason just decided to stop and get that one. I like that the grass does not slow your horse down like it does you. All right, I don't even care about that sap that the uh, mahogany trees are producing. All right, what do we need to do here? Boom. I don't think I need to save any of the fish, do I? I do not. I could keep the anchovy, but it's really not that big of a deal, y'all. Do I, ha I have an albacore? So, boom. I'm getting to where I have some of this stuff saved up that I could use. Like, I need to figure out exactly when I need to get a uh, barn and a pig at the latest in order to be able to... Um, get a truffle so that I don't you know so that I know exactly what I need to commit to or whatever you know what I'm saying alright nope you go in there so geodes will be up there I can sell the pine tar um you guys can go over there so I can donate you at some point. And now we're selling that stuff. Yeah. All right, let's get going. Long, long day. Holy crap, that was a long day. Sell, 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 sell. 
sell, 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 sell. All right, I gotta take a break though and come back and finish the episode. So, anyway, head to bed and then we'll finish here later on. All right, and we're back. Uh, let's see here. So it's Friday the twelfth. We got traveling cart today. <sighs> we're we're just short of being able to buy a barn, which is not a big deal. If we buy it tomorrow, it'll be ready by the time I can buy a pig anyway. Uh, so it's okay. We'll, we'll do that tomorrow. But today, I think what we will do is... Um, oh, gosh. I don't want to go fishing again. We might go up to the traveling... Or to the uh, desert and, you know, just try and be productive up there. We'll see. We're just going to kind of wing it, y'all. Let's go. We do need to go to the traveling cart, but that's the only thing that's like firmly on the agenda. It's a bad luck day, so we're not going to the desert. I'm not wasting a trip up there if I'm going to get attacked by a thousand monsters. Evan, this recipe of mine won first place in a cooking competition. I hope you like it. Thanks for being a friend. Fried calamari, we now have a recipe for. Thank you, Jody. Come up here. Uh, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, and sell that. Morning, Cooper. Wake up, sleepy bones. I dosed him with water. That'll do it. <laughs> what is that thing right there? Um, I don't know. I don't know what that is. It looks cool, but it doesn't look like anything else that I've planted this season. So what is it? Anyway, um, so we'll do the stuff around here today and then head on uh, perhaps to the regular mines. I don't know. Maybe we can go do a sweep of the entire map. It is late in the week, which means there should be a fair amount of stuff to forage. Um, but we might be able to get some trees chopped as well. So, not like super effective in terms of making us a bunch of money. But it will hopefully maybe knit us a bunch of wood, which is helpful. So... Probably need to be smelting some stuff here. We're doing okay on iron, um, but let's keep after it. Right? I do need to swing in and see Clint and go to the museum. So those, that's something that we can do while we're out and about. Keep that in mind. We're really close to getting those mushrooms, which means we will be one step closer to completing the pantry. Ooh, we got our first dino egg. And you know what we're going to do with it? Boom. You go right there. Wait, wait, wait. Boom. I don't think I've get goat's milk. Yeah, he gave me goat's milk yesterday, but I really should have made their pen larger so that they have more ro room, more room to roam, and I also have more room for um, hay or grass to grow. No. Where's the hay? There we go. But it's not a huge deal. Eventually, I'll be making so much freaking money that I can just... Um, I can just buy hay from Marnie, and it, like, it doesn't even matter. So, Alright, what are we doing here? 
I think I can sell all of that stuff. So let's go do that. We'll save the cheese. Cheese will eventually be a food source for me when I go to the mines. Now my dog is whining for some reason. What do you want, buddy? You just want out? Okay, there you go. Go on. Sorry. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what are we up to here? I think we're ready to get moving. So, traveling cart. And then we'll do some tree chopping. Which, speaking of which, how's our tree farm coming along here? Ooh, that's going to be a problem. I can't, I didn't make, I didn't leave any kind of path to get through there. There's a couple of trees there that I can cut down. And I want to because I can't get through there. There's a tree. There's a tree. So... There's some stuff we can get done around here. I haven't seen any crates for a while. Is that like a seasonal thing where they don't happen in the fall? Or is it a luck-based thing? And since today's a bad luck day... Like, what's, what's the deal there? Hello. She waved to me. Useless. <sighs> so freaking useless. Driving me crazy. Alright, we're going to go in here. And we're going to cut some stumps, at least. I was really hoping that I'd be making enough cash that, like, this season I could do some more tool upgrades. But, holy crap, that's not been the case at all. I'm used to having a bunch more crops going by now, though. So, that disadvantage of the lack of sprinklers is, you know, bearing its teeth, so to speak. I will kill you, little blue slime, because you got a little dangly from your head. And all you gave me was your slime? I don't even care about your slime. There's something that you need slime for, uh for crafting, but I can't remember what it is. I and I well, what that tells me that it's not something that I generally build a bunch of, so it's not a big deal. But there was something that you need those for. It slimes, that is. 12:30. I got to be careful here. Let's go into town first. Oh my gosh, come on with it. How do I get out of here on the horse? Jeez. Stone, get out of here with this. We'll come back and finish chopping trees. But I want to go and get the geodes and stuff taken care of downtown. So we'll go see Clint. Sup, Sam? He's trying to do a kickflip. I can see that, buddy. Nothing on the special orders board. Hey, Caroline, I can say hello to you. It's a fine looking day. On days like this, I like to help Evelyn with the public gardens. She's strong for her age, but I think she appreciates all the help she can get. Caroline also has a green thumb like Miss Evelyn, so. She spends time in her own little indoor greenhouse, which we will see at some point. And we will try to frequent eventually. Frozen tear doesn't help. Clay doesn't help. That doesn't help. I don't think that helps. And that does not help either. That was a bust. Holy bejesus. Clint, give me something I could use. Like a prismatic shard. All right. This little guy can go over there. This little guy can go over there. Well, that trip downtown was not very useful. We'll go say hi to these people. Hello. Hello. And hello. Yeah, I like your bow. It's very pretty. Nope, oh, let me get my horse out of your way. Okay. 
let's go wood chopping. Now the downside to this day where I'm not being very productive from a cash perspective is that it doesn't get me any closer to the 25,000 bucks that I need to perform the barn upgrade. But let's see, if I do it tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it would, like, Marnie won't be open until Wednesday, so it, it doesn't matter. I can be productive cash-wise tomorrow, and honestly, I think by the time I really need to do it, my pumpkins will be ready. I should have some more cranberries coming up real soon, like tomorrow, dang it. Don't know why it's taking so long. feel like it's been four or five days and I feel like it's five days between harvests for them so come on now wood is again a resource that you just kind of always have to be conscious of and try and collect on a fairly regular basis because you end up needing a lot of it between crafting building houses, building, you know, barns and coops and stuff like that, you burn through it real fast. There we go. Cinder Sap Sweep 3.0 is engaged. So I have been getting a lot of playing time in lately, which is good because I'm kind of re I'm recorded like three or four days in advance. It gives me the flexibility at some point to either do a stretch where we do three episodes a day, even if it's like maybe like on Saturdays, I do three episodes or something, or just taking some time off to, you know, charge the old batteries and not get burnt out so that's the more likely of the two scenarios um you know as much as i want to get to the late game content the reality is i don't want to be completely burnt out from the game by the time i get there so we gotta keep it fresh y'all take a day or two and you know do a puzzle Take the dog on a walk. You know, for the new year, like about 90% of adult Americans, I've, you know, got the exercise bug hitting me where I'm trying to get a little bit more, you know, cardio and stuff like that in on a regular basis. That hay's filling in pretty quick there, so that's good. All right, let's get some tappers figured out here. One, actually, no, first... We'll, you know, we'll deal with that one there. It's not a big deal. Oh, 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 oh. We're out of energy. Uh, I guess we'll eat this blackberry. We can eat this mushroom. Yeah, let's do that. That should be plenty right there. Which tree did I just chop by accident? That one? Yep. Alright. This is going to be a problem over here. So we're going to have to go like that so that I can get my horse through there. That was kind of stupid, but it's okay. I really should have just made like a path straight down through there. But like an idiot, I wasn't really thinking about it. Alright, what do I need to do? Let's just, uh, let's do this. I can't really see the tappers through the... I know I need at least two tappers. Oh, we got honey. Oh, and today's the 12th, so I gotta get the apples. Ooh, I like them apples. All right, let's let's not bother with the tappers right now. Actually, you know what? It's only 750. Let's stay productive here, people. Boom, 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 boom. 
Boom. No, not there. There and there with that. Let's come on over here and do that right there. We've got five honey now. That's cool. Uh, do I need to keep any more apples? Um, not there. We got four. Let's get to five. I don't think I'll need that many, but it's okay. All right, so we're good to sell those things. Now, do I have any tappers crafted? I do not. They take that, and I think they take 40 wood. Let's just grab all of that wood. Boom. Okay. Let's go pop those down. And then maybe we'll spend just a little bit of time fishing or something. See, all of the oaks, or all of the mahogany trees are already producing sap. So I know we're good on that front. Okay. Okay. So I got one tree there still waiting to grow. I think all of the that next row are tapped. And I got a few mahogany trees still waiting to grow. But now I have an extra tapper for whenever I need it. So it, that's that. You can go right there. Is there anything else in there that I could put out and use... I should really start doing something with the sprinklers and just put them over in that area. The reality is that should probably be my field for crops, but I don't like where it is in relation to the farmhouse. I like to get up and immediately do my crops and have them right there in front of the farmhouse just because that's always the way I've done it. But to be the most efficient, I could put the sprinklers over there and do that, but I ultimately... I think I'll just, in terms of sprinklers, wait until I have iridium to do iridium quality sprinklers. So, deal with it. All right. No, get, get on the horse. We're just going to fish. Get a little bit of cash out of it. It's 920. We'll fish for a few minutes. It's going to be a long episode, probably around 50 minutes for the... For the whole darn thing. But that's okay. Give me something other than seaweed, please. And trash. I would like some fish. Watch me get anchovies. Now that I don't even really care. Albacore. Trash. So after next episode, we will be halfway through the fall. And it'll get us to where we got our pumpkins and can complete that bundle in the community center to where the only other thing we need to get the greenhouse is a large goat's milk. So we just need that goat to like us a little bit more and give us a large goat's milk. So we'll see how quickly I can get there. Just a second, buddy. That's what I need to go deal with here in a second. She's five years old, and her name is Audrey. Oh, crap. Just blew that. Uh, cast. Man, see, this is what fishing on the farm is just not efficient. You get lots of trash. Ooh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Is this a super cucumber? That'd be a good one to finish on. What's up, buddy? Um, no, I'll come down and play with you in just a second, okay, bud? Did 
you want to get on and watch uh, Paw Patrol on the computer. Sorry, bud. Use your brain and your creativity and go play something. You know? That's way more seaweed and algae than I need. But it's not a big deal. It's not worth a whole lot. So having it just sit there is, is not a huge crisis. But I still have some extra stuff here that I could sell if I really needed to. Uh, but not going to do it. Unless I need to. So that should do it for this episode. If you have not done so already, please be sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we'll see you all next time.